Hey there, welcome back to Math Extreme Works. So we're back with this 2002 Fender American Strat that needs a new nut. And I was able to find one here. And I got it from Next Gen Guitars here in Ottawa. I'll leave a link in the description. And they're a great supplier for all kinds of guitar parts, speaker cabinet parts, switches, knobs, cables, Tolex, you know, to wrap your cabinets. So, really good local supplier. So, I'll leave a link for them. So, I was able to source a bone nut that's the right width and the right string spacing. Now, you can see the shape is just a little different. The radius here, so I might have to clip a little, you know, sand a little bit off here on the base side. But, other than that, looks pretty good so and the height is pretty much bang on so I might not have too much to do with the nut itself other than put it in place and then just adjust those nut slots so all right let's get to it please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more video content so before I uh, have to do anything with a nut, of course, I'm going to change a couple of things on this strat. So this, this strat was had a floating trim. Now I'm going to sort of hard tail it, if you will. So I just make it synchronous one way. So you can dive bomb or flatten the strings. And I think most people will have it that way as their setup. A lot of people don't like floating because it doesn't keep its tuning stability as easily. So all I have to do here is I'm going to suck these screws in really tight so that keeps the trim nice tight to the body. So always do the same amount on each side, count, you know, and then you can eyeball to make sure it's straight. So probably get it about a quarter inch away from the, the route here and that should be enough to uh, keep this bridge down under string tension. If not, I will just adjust a little more. So yeah, that should be that should be good enough. Keep it there. There we go. Okay. So the nut has the right string spacing, this new bone nut, and it's the right width. Just 43 millimeters or so. Feels good. But it's a little snug. It's close. <laughs> so it needs a little bit of sanding. So I've got a piece of 220 grit here paper. And this is actually just a steel quarter inch plate. I had that on my Arbor Press. I thought it would be a good idea just to put it here. Now this surface, a laminate surface, that's fine. We don't need to do that. How about that? Of course I can't get any tape off, right? <laughs> Yeah, so just tape down a piece of, you know, you don't have to use double stick tape or anything like that. If you don't have it, just make sure it's good and flat. And, you know, here's the old nut. So the one thing I'll say is I kind of like the, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> this is very white <laughs> compared to the old one, but it'll age. And I don't really want to, you know, put it in tea or anything like that. I don't need to do that. Okay, so what we want to do is there's a bit of a rounded edge at the back. So we want to keep that. But the face, we're going to sand that. So really, all you do, you know, again, it's very light sanding, so I did 10 passes there. Go back. Oh, it's getting there. It's better. Now, I don't want it that I have to bang it in there. But I do want it snug, so we'll do another 10. Okay, wipe it off. Oh yeah, it's getting there nicely. If I really pushed it in, I think it would sit down, but again, like I said, I don't want to. It's already getting very snug. So I'll take pliers and gently it out. <laughs> you can see the guitar is lifting up, so that's a good sign. 
Okay, a couple more passes. Okay, well, I'll keep doing that till we get down there. So again, sneak up on it. Don't you know, go crazy and then all of a sudden it's, you know, too narrow and flopping around. Well, <laughs> it turns out that that does have a radius. It's not a flat bottom, so I just had to shape. Now I used a little belt sander, but now I'm just fine tuning it a bit here with some sandpaper. So I did have to put a little radius in there. Yeah, that fits really nice. Okay, well now I'm happy with that. Side to side, I actually don't have to do anything side to side. So I'll put a couple of dabs of glue in there. Not much, just a couple of dabs. And then we'll string it up. Yeah, I'll show you how nice it fits. You can just see that radius I put in there, but Yeah, that's good. Very nice. Okay. There's something about bone nuts too, like that. <laughs> you can tell the smell as soon as you start to uh, sand it. It really has a particular smell. It's not plastic, that's for sure. It's almost, uh, maybe it's meat. <laughs> I don't know. So I really dislike using CA glue. It's so messy and sticky and if you get it somewhere that you don't want it, it's just difficult to remove. So I'm just using some regular wood glue here. So this is Gorilla Glue. I'll just put a few, two or three little dots there. Doesn't have to be much. Don't forget the pressure of the strings, right, is really going to push down on this. So all I'm going to do, and if it does squeeze out a bit, obviously I can just wipe it with some water, right, just a damp cloth or paper towel. So I'll just put a little bit of pressure on it for 30 seconds or so. And this Gorilla Glue is actually nice because it's really tacky. So it does hold things in place. But I'll let this sit for 15-20 minutes. I'll come back to it and we'll string it up. Alright, so the guitar has been strung up with 10 to 46s. I didn't have any 9s, but that's fine. Um, I have these Hosco nut files that are sized exactly for 10 to 46s, which is perfect. So you can't go attack the nut right away, although you could preemptively slot down because I know <laughs> we're really high here. So we want to bring that down, but I do need to do a setup before. I prefer doing the setup, so at least the neck relief and string height before touching the nut. So that, you know, you never know if I adjust all this and this drops quite a bit. I, no, I don't think it will. So I'd like to see 18 thousandths as my final first fret action. And we have a huge gap there. So I'll have some filing to do. <laughs> I'm bringing you in close here, look. <laughs> this is the first red action. Whoa! Way too much, eh? Yeah, so we'll have to cut quite a bit off the six string for sure. Anyways, that's fine. I like having that much nut there. You can see it's right at the bottom, so that's, that's good. So we'll start cutting away. So like I mentioned a little earlier, these Hosco nut slots are size 10 to 46, so it's perfect. So I'm using the 46 thousand side, and I know I gotta take a lot off, but I'm gonna count anyway, so I'll do like 20 strokes. There's 10, and I'm gonna try and angle back too, right? Sure, I'm going to need more than that, <laughs> but 
will start. You know, you sneak up on it. You know, this first pass, obviously, we know that I have to take quite a bit off. Still, take your time. There's no rush, generally. <laughs> well, that helped quite a bit, actually. Just eyeball it slower. Again, I'll take my... So 18 is what I'm shooting for. And you can see it's bouncing. 20 is not terrible. And, you know, if you're someone who uses your trim a lot, that string's going to be moving back and forth in the nut slot. So, it's going to carve away. So, sometimes if it's a little bit higher, like 20,000, so you got a little more room <laughs> to play with. All right, I'll keep sawing away at this. Well, I wish there was something, in this case, smell o vision because <laughs> if you've never filed or sanded, a bone nut. There is a particular smell and you'll recognize it every time. <laughs> All right, again close. I think I'll take it down to about 20 thousandths and then do the rest and see where we are. There we go. So if I take the feeler gauge, this is a 20 and I put it top of the fret under the string. And if I strum, you can see it's hitting it, so that means it's a little lower. Now if I put the 18 there, oh, we're almost there, so kind of like that. All right, so we'll leave the uh, six string for now and move along. Don't forget that you need to tune the string, you know, every time <laughs> you check it. So, file, that's my first filing on that one, so that's why I did it quite a bit. And then tune it up, and then check it. I've got more to go. And look what happened here, eh? <laughs> First string, the E broke. Uh, happens, eh? So lucky I have spares. Okay, well, new string on. <laughs> and I finished what I would call a preliminary nut slotting. <laughs> so here's a 20 thousandths feeler gauge. And everything's scraping under there. So that's good. And then 18. Yeah. Same thing. Just scraping. Like I said, that's what I want because, you know, again, with the tremolo action of a Stratocaster, the strings are going to move. And they will eat into there. And they will wear out over time. Sort of brush away anything. Any dust, bone dust. So I think with the new nut we've eliminated that open string buzzing that we had before. You know, the string's not moving around in the nut slot, so I'm happy with that. So now that this nut is installed, you can sort of feel it. See if it's a little too sharp. Like the front you want nice and straight, but this actually these sides aren't bad. I don't think when you play it. But if you take a little file, I would just knock off the fronts here like that. Now this file I've actually taken off any serrated edge there, so it's a safe file. <clears throat> I can use one of my fret files too, actually. Here, like this one. It's got a safe bottom. So just sort of round that front edge off a bit. And curl it over. Yeah, there we go. So you can play around with the nut, you know. Whoop! <laughs> 
you can play around with it as much as you want, like smooth it out, polish it. I don't usually fuss around with it too much, as long as I, right here, that leading edge especially, as long as that doesn't feel like it's sharp. Come on this side too. And again, that side's not so bad, the thumb side, right? There we go. Just taking it off a little bit. But definitely it's more about the treble side. Yeah, that would be good. There we go. Again, you can fuss around with this as much as you like. <laughs> Get it, you know, perfect. So I've also spent a few minutes just removing some of the excess height. So I like, you know what, with the strings in it's fine because the strings are actually sitting down in the, the nut, right? So I'm just going to go over it lightly on the back side mainly. And again, if you're worried about this, you can take the strings out, <laughs> do all this, put them back, out, back, out, back. I find this doesn't hurt anything. And you're careful. And you know, worst thing, worst thing that could happen is you, for some reason, you think you've damaged the string, replace it. Get put new strings. Cheapest thing you can do. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's it. So take your time, get yourself the right files. Again, these are size for 10 to 46s exactly. You can buy different uh, size files for 9 to 42s as an example, another popular size. So I would suggest getting those. You can't get by, but it's nice to have the right size slot and the string doesn't move around side to side in there. Oh, this one's got to go under. There we go. Okay, so I'll finish the setup on this guitar, but for now I'm really happy with that. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye for now.